What's up Nightwalkers? In this video today I'll be showing you uh, video clips of these three tubes and I'll have, I'll have them up side by side so you can see how they perform against each other and the reason I'm doing this video is uh, I still get a lot of questions from guys uh, who are shopping these three types of tubes uh, just want to know what the performance is like between them. Uh, so I thought I'd put this video together to help out people uh, that have these types of questions. So before I get to the video part of the video, I just want to go over the phosphor colors real quick. Uh, so for me personally, I prefer the L3's color over um, all three of them. Uh, it's just, it just stresses my eyes out a lot less with the L3's color uh, than the others. And it just seems to allow me to see into the shadows and, and see the different shadow contrast better uh, with the L3 than I do with Photonis or the Elbit uh, Green Phosphor. Uh, Color-wise, um, between the, the L3 and the Photonis, the Photonis is certainly a, a much darker blue. or actually has a lot more blue in it, and, and it's darker. Uh, and it's a little bit harder for me to see shadow contrast with the Photonis than it is with the L3, and in some cases, uh, even with the Green Phosphor, I can see shadow contrast better uh, than the Photonis'. Uh, but the Photonis' color is, is definitely easier in my eyes than the Green Phosphor, uh, so I'm, I'm a big fan of, uh, of white phosphor tubes. I think they are better on your eyes. So these videos were taken on almost a full moon night and uh, in those types of lighting conditions every tube is going to look the best it can and as you can tell between them you know the L3 is really good so is the Elbit and the Photonis is good too it's just a little bit dimmer than the Gen 3. That whining sound that you're hearing uh, that's the auto gating coming from the Elbit. This was a very dark night no moon heavy clouds and as you can see in the video uh, the Echo definitely didn't perform the same as Gen 3. Uh, this is where you could definitely see that it's a bit darker. This shot's actually the same as the last one. Uh, just this night has a, almost a full moon out. And as you can tell, uh, the L3 is pretty bright. The Elbit looks pretty good as well. And then the Photonis, uh, you can see is darker than the Gen 3. This was on a no moon night, uh, but there was very good starlight. And I'm out in the distance walking towards the camera. This is the same shot as the last one, just a little bit more zoomed in, and this is on another night with almost a full moon. This was a no moon, starlight only night, but we had a lot of clouds, and as you can tell, the L3 and the Elbit, uh, they both do pretty good. Uh, the Photonis, it does good as well, uh, but as you can see, it's just a little bit darker than the Gen 3. Now, when it comes to which one to buy, that's going to come down to your budget and what kind of performance you want. So if you want the best performance out there and you have the money to spend, uh, go for high-spec L3 filmless white phosphor, no question. Now, if you don't want to spend quite that much, but you still want good performance, uh, that's when you want to go for the Elbit thin film green or white phosphor. Now, to save a, a bit of money um, over Gen 3, over those two, that's where the Photonis Echo Plus comes in. You know, and to be honest with you, if you're going to be using your device in a city or uh, in places with a lot of ambient light, you know, to be honest with you, the Photonis Echo Plus and White Phosphor is probably going to be uh, more than fine for you. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. 